Hey guys, Massive Dynamic here. This is a short video about what is called Light Artillery. It's a mod. Uh, it's kind of a cool mod. It gives you earlier access to artillery shells. However, there is something you should know if you're going to try this mod, if you haven't tried it yet. Um, I like to call it Aggravational Artillery because this artillery does not do the damage that normal artillery does. It does kind of minimum damage, really. Here's the regular shells. Let's go ahead and... Well, first of all, let's... Thank you, autosave. You have such good timing. Unbelievable. Thank you. Okay, so anyway, uh, let's look at the, the range of the um, light artillery. That's the that's the first range of it. I don't know. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm working on artillery shell range too now. Um, but with the remote, it stretches out a pretty good ways. I mean, it's got some real range on it. But just at the normal range, it's it's still pretty good. Uh, but let's see the damage that it does. Let's go ahead and load in just a regular shell here. And you'll see why I call it... First of all, it's very, very slow to target. So we'll have to wait for it to decide to... Will it even target? Oh yeah, there it goes. Very, very slow to target. <clears throat> Rotation. Um, eight impact damage is all it has. And area of effect is three. With Twelve physical damage. So let's just see what this does here. I think it's going to shoot at this big crowd over here. Nope, it's going somewhere into the darkness. Let's see where that goes and what it does. Okay, so we can see it did very little damage in a small area. Uh, then we have, there, there's different types. So that's the regular light artillery. Then there's the purple pineapple. We'll throw one of those in there. Check that one out. Let it rotate in. And while we're waiting, we'll go ahead and throw this thing up here. So we can see. It's more effective in large numbers. There goes the purple pineapple. Which is a cluster bomb. It does uh, a little bit of damage over a pretty wide area. Next we have the Defender Artillery Ammo. We'll go ahead and throw one of those in there. And then finally we have the Orange Poison. We'll go ahead and throw one of those in there. By the time it decides to fire, we should be uh, save us a little bit of time. So the Defender ammo throws one Defender uh, robot out there and lands and starts to do, uh, basically it's like a little, well it's a Defender bot, it does what a Defender bot does, it lands and then it just starts firing at enemies. Um, but in this case it just gets engulfed in green goo. And here comes the poison gas one. It does a large area effect. And it only affects the uh, bugs and the worms. It doesn't affect the bases. Uh, but it does linger for quite a while and it does affect a large area. And it does kill trees, which is wonderful. Uh, I enjoy that very much. Uh, so, to see that it is much more effective in large numbers, let's go ahead and load... some different types oops that's the wrong thing Get out of the way some different types in these boxes here so we can see a little bit of everything what did i miss i don't remember so we'll just go ahead and we'll do this we'll do one those one of those one of those and what am i missing i think we already did that one and in this one, we'll do one of each, so there's that one. We're missing it, but we'll see it in a second. That one. 
that one. Now, when you have a lot of them firing at once, it does a lot more damage, obviously. But it will, it will pelt one target. They will all pelt one target until it's destroyed. Uh, so, yeah, when the defender bots land, if you get a bunch of defender bots to land in the same spot, they can they could do a pretty good job. There you go. There's a couple of them that lived long enough to keep fighting. So they killed that worm finally after all that. And the gas. The gas lingers. I don't think it does a cumulative effect on the gas. Uh, as in... Uh, the more gas grenades you drop, the more damage it does. Uh, it's just, it just does a certain amount of damage over time. I don't believe that that stacks. Uh, I'm not actually positive of that, or if I can know the answer to that question. So let's go ahead and spread these things out here like this. And we'll just... We'll get it to tilt away. And that one. Load everything up here. And okay, that's it. So let's just watch that pummel away for a for a few seconds here and see what happens. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I will uh, take back what I said about that gas because it does get brighter and brighter to the point where you can't see anything anymore. I don't know if you guys can see anything there. But that gas is just really juicing them up. So we'll let that fire away. It's hard to see what's going on inside the cloud. Zoom in a little bit. Look for the impact point. Well, there we go. So yeah, it really does annoy the whole base. It causes uh, large crowds to gather. So make sure that you set up your defenses because they are going to come come after you. And right now they're going to come after me on this island over here, but I'm pretty safe over here. But I think if they get tired of not being able to get to me, they might go after my main base. Uh, but there you go guys, I just wanted to show you how the light artillery works. Um, I do, again, I do recommend that you use it in large clusters for the best effect. So there you have it guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and we'll talk to you next time.